Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, the Kingdom Living Bible Study Course, and the Pocket Guide series. That gets to be a tongue twister after a while. I hope I don't have like 10 series and have to name them all off. It would take a long time. Um, today I want to share with you about something that I am getting revelation on, but I don't quite have it all yet. God started talking to me uh, about this in church the other day, and... I just started taking notes and it's just so exciting that I can't hold back anymore. I have to share it with you before I do all my research and just get a whole bunch of scriptures together. I'm just going to share it with you and you can get some scriptures together and share it with your friends. He said that uh, water baptism, and I never heard this from anybody else before. Maybe you have, but I haven't. Excuse me. That water baptism is a... Um bridge and a shadow it's between it's a bridge between the old and the new testament matthew mark luke and john are not the old testament and not really the new testament they're really part of the old testament because matthew mark luke and john jesus did not die yet and resurrect and make anybody born again so everything that happened in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John was sort of like a bridge uh, between uh, stuff that works for the New Testament, but not a completion. And so he, God showed me that the water baptism, John came, repe John came preaching repentance for the bat for water, uh, be baptized so so that your sins are forgiven you, repentance of your sins. And it symbols, you know, going down under the water and coming up a new creature, which you couldn't really do until you had Jesus in your heart because you weren't really a new creature until Jesus died and was born again, went to heaven, sprinkled his blood on the uh, um, sacrificial seat in heaven, and then sent back the Holy Spirit to and fill us, empower us, and make us new creatures. Because, see, if he didn't send back the Holy Spirit, we couldn't be born again. The only reason we're born again is because uh, Jesus sent back the Holy Spirit, which made us made our spirit alive again so Holy Spirit is vital to being born again the Holy Spirit seals our salvation uh, so water baptism is a symbol of baptizing with the Holy Spirit and power you see in the Old Testament when you sinned you had to kill an animal and sacrifice the blood it should have been your own blood but God made a covenant with man and said okay the blood of an innocent animal is good enough until which is a shadow until Jesus came. Well, when Jesus walked the earth, water baptism began, and water baptism was saying, okay, I got all these sins, but I'm going to go down under the water, become back up, brand new creature with all my sins washed away. And that was the introduction of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because when you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, you're baptized into the fire, and you come up a new creature. And so, so awesome revelation to me is that water baptism is a foreshadow a symbol a um, shadow of baptism with the Holy Spirit now this new book that I'm working on that is my favorite book ever it's all about the Holy Spirit and how that scared me my cat came down the ladder up oh, and here comes my cat um, the New Testament the book that I'm writing that God is just opening the door and showing me is the New Testament is is all about being baptized into the Holy Spirit and fire, speaking with tongues, and having a supernatural relationship with God through the Holy Spirit because of the blood of Jesus. And so, baptize, the Old Testament was um, b the blood of animals. The bridge, the in-between, the old and the new is the baptism of water symbolizing your rebirth and the new testament is baptizing into the covenant into the holy spirit because the new covenant is all about the words of your mouth and the holy spirit and the holy spirit only can move when there's words, when you speak words, when there's sound. And listen to my uh, teaching yesterday on sound. The Holy Spirit only moves when there's sound, whether it's praise and worship, uh, clapping, shouting, dancing, laughing, singing to the Lord, or speaking words of prophecy, confessing and agreeing what God, what Jesus said in the scriptures. So, the awesome, awesome revelation that I'm getting and that my book is about is the New Covenant. If you read in Isaiah 
might be Isaiah 53. I don't remember. My new book is based on this. It says, I will make a new covenant with them. I will make their sins as far away from me. I'll forget their sins. Don't hold their iniquity against them. Um, I will put a new heart in them. And I, the new covenant will be my words and the Holy Spirit. And it's like, wow. Okay, so that's what the new covenant is. The new covenant is being sealed in the Holy Spirit by being baptized in the fire of the Holy Spirit. So I hope you got it. I hope you get excited. I can't wait to do more research. Look out for my new book. It's coming around Christmas time, I think. I'm not even like halfway done with it. Uh, the Holy Spirit is, this is totally fresh, new, live it out, walk it out revelation about walking in the supernatural things of God. It, our new covenant, um, walking with angels and seeing, doing, feeling, smelling, tasting the supernatural realm and living in it. And that's what my new book is all about. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. And I hope you get excited about this revelation because this is awesome and I want to know more. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.